Okay, so want to tell everyone why we're in our grungy basement? Oh uh, yeah, I'm down here, you know, doing some uh, vacuuming and stuff, and uh, with our filter queen. Oh yes. And if you happen to uh, touch anything metal on this, it uh, it's a rather shocking experience. Boo! Like, you touch, and it's not a plugged in at all, but you touch this out, and you get shocked from it. And uh, maybe some of you folks are into that type of thing. I don't know that. <laughs> I personally am not. I, mean, I don't like getting shocked while I'm vacuuming. We so. ain't kink shaming. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not into that. So anyway, uh, we're down here trying to figure out what the heck is going on. I'm thinking maybe something's wrong with the vacuum, but uh, I took the vacuum upstairs, plugged it in, and it was fine. Uh, it didn't shock me. Uh, so I'm down here. I got my, uh, I'm not even sure how to test this electrically with the vacuum, but anyway. Actually, you know what? I might be able to. Let's try it. Because <laughs> I don't know if this will work or not. I didn't. No, it's not reading anything. Try turning it on. I don't think it would maybe a bare spot. Oh, hey, look at that. I don't know, maybe the camera's not picking that up, but get that bare spot there. I got 20 volts. Fun! That's interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, I did have this, though. Uh, this is a no-contact uh, tester. Uh, so, uh, by the way, real quick with this one here. Uh, slow red beep is neutral. Fast red beep is hot. Okay, so, so like a beep beep is fine, but that, so it's hot. It's hot. So if you touch it, She's it'll hot. shock you. She'll shock you. Want to give us now, an example? Uh, no, absolutely not. Can I, I try I, it? Uh, no, I would not recommend it. <laughs> I've tried it a couple of times here and it's shocked me, so I've, I've had enough of this. How severe of a shock are we talking? Um, like touching a, a light switch static shock? Or? No, no, this, this is an actual like electric shock. Now, I won't say it's full on 120 volt shock because it's probably painted surface here and stuff. But So like uh, I touched the electrical box that one time shock? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So that's hot. Evan. That is hot. So I'm questioning why because it wasn't doing that upstairs. The only thing I can think of here, I mean, is it has to be something with that outlet. Oh, do we have another outlet down here we can try? There's like one by the yeah, washing there. machine. Um, I was going to try plugging my outlet tester. I've got an outlet tester, but this is a two wire outlet. And I was thinking, I wonder if it's, no, I can't plug it in backwards. I was thinking maybe I had it plugged in reverse because there is a wide side. But nope, the outlet is not worn off to the point you can do that. So, hmm. and like I said, I can't plug this in. It, there's, oh, because it's one of those old school two yeah, prongers? Yeah, it's an old two pronger. So, I'm plug it in up here. Wait, we have one in the ceiling? I don't know what this one's for, but I have no idea. How? I never noticed that. Oh, there's that one. Well, that's where the fridge plugs in, in that one. I have literally never noticed that. I don't know what this one's for, to be honest. And again, I'm only 5'3". I don't look up very often. I guess we can plug the, I don't know, <laughs> the, water, or the dryer probably won't reach that. Well, that's interesting, that one. Wait. It is slow beep. Slow beep, again, I'm a slow beep indicates it is a neutral. So a slow beep is what you want. Yeah. Or well, no reaction whatsoever. Yeah, slow beep. I, I guess uh, this is not a grounded plug. So there's no ground on this. The neutral is probably the ground, essentially, if you will. The, the frame is probably neutral. So will that shock you? No. Nope. Huh. Not at all. I want, so, actually, I wonder. Can I get this? No. Showing both are hot, which the problem with this one, you can't really reliably test each side of the outlet because it's not gonna. Oh, this one I can. This side's neutral. That side's hot. So wait, so that one doesn't have a neutral? Well, I'm not saying I would trust this for that. But still, that's... Um, I can't really test it with this either, because it's going to... Like, if I plug this into it, I got it on AC at the moment. It's not going to tell me what side's which. It's just going to tell me that it's, it's 121 volts. So I can take the other way, too, and it's still going to be 121 volts. What if you just stick them both in one? Um, can't do that. Says who? So that's also 100, well, that's 122 now. Now what it could potentially do. Yeah, see it's reading. Okay, on that side we have one bolt. 
That should be the that's hot the hot side. side. On the neutral side, we're reading 20, 22 volts. Here we're reading one volt on neutral. We're reading 17 volts, 18 volts on hot. That's backwards, isn't it? Yeah, the hot was one on this one. Yeah, and it was, okay. wait, what? We might have found a problem here. Well, I'm... here, you want to take this? So, okay, well, I think we found our problem here. I'm thinking that outlet is reversed polarity, meaning the neutral is actually hot, everyone. So, again, the, the neutral is hot, which would explain why I'm getting shocked on the casing of the vacuum here. Uh, so, I'm, I'm guessing the neutral and the case, is, they're probably bonded together. They're grounded, right? Or, uh, again, there's no ground on this, one. But my theory is here that the, the neutral is in contact with the casing here. So... When you reverse your polarity, everyone, now your neutral is hot, that is going to make the casing of the vacuum hot, which is going to shock you. A rather shocking experience. Very, very interesting. Uh, not, not a good one, too, either. I mean, so, okay, we're going to have to take that outlet apart. I'm going to figure out what the heck is going on there, because that is not cool. And here I was thinking we were going to be working on the vacuum here, this uh, video, I mean, but apparently we're going to be working on uh, the outlets. So, and again, I can't get my... Can't get my electrical tester in there because it's, yeah, again, no, no ground there. So, yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, well, I've got the outlet uh, cover pulled off here. Let's see what the no contact tester says. So, again, slow beeping like it's doing there, oven, that is neutral. And a fast beep is going to be hot. So, yeah, that is indicating hot. Or should be also your black wire, right? Hmm. The only problem is it's also indicating, let's see, can I get it? No, it's still saying that's hot. I don't know. That is, that, that's that got me uh, really baffled and confused. I don't know why it's indicating both sides are hot. I've never seen... This tester usually is pretty good. I mean, I, again, I won't necessarily trust it 100% of them, but it, it, it's good enough it usually will indicate which one's which, and it's... Hmm. That's weird. Unless... I wonder if this is... Uh, I wonder if somehow the neutral is touching the box here and it has the whole box hot. I'm not going to touch it and find out. I am not going to do that. That's for sure. Okay, well now that I got the outlet uh, pulled out here, let's see what we got. Okay, it's definitely saying that is hot. The wire looks like to be in decent enough shape here. And that is... Wait a minute here. Oh, yeah, no, wait, that is two in reverse, right? Yeah, let me uh, get this flipped around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's reverse, that one. Because the white is on. Okay, there's your problem. White is on this side. It should be black. This should be your hot side. And this is your neutral side. Uh, notice your silver screw. And it's a little hard to tell, but there's your brass color. So whoever wired this, I'm going to wire it up completely backwards. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, hot. There's neutral. I don't know why in the box it was showing otherwise. I mean, that's kind of weird. But that's what it normally does. Neutral. Hot. Okay. So we'll just uh, flip that around and we should be good. Yep. Got the right breaker. Double check both sides. Again, I'm going to still slow blinking because the neutral is still connected yet. So if you were to take the neutral off, uh, then it would not be blinking at all. But there's no, as you can tell, no hot. Now, for this outlet, I'm, I could just uh, switch those wires around and be done with it, and it would be correct. Uh, again, note uh, there is no ground wire in this outlet. It is only a two-wire outlet. But what I can also do, Evan, is if I wanted to plug grounded appliances in here, which, as you can tell, I've got a bunch of uh, tools sitting here. It'd be nice to plug some stuff in here. I can put a GFCI outlet in here, Evan. Um, you cannot, and I want to repeat this very clearly, you cannot put a regular, if I go over here, have one. You cannot put a regular outlet like this in there. You cannot do that. Well, okay, you can, but you should not do that, everyone. That is not a good idea in any way, shape, or form. Uh, there are only, let's see, I think there's only two. I'm going to say there's only two proper ways to fix this, everyone. Um, you can put a two-wire outlet in here like there's in there now. Of course, make sure it's wired properly with the, 
the black on the right side and the white on the other, you know, you, okay. And then you could put a GFCI outlet in there, one. Now you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, this needs a ground too, right? It, it should, I want, but it does not need a ground. This will provide you uh, with adequate safety here, even though there's no ground wire. Again, a GFCI one does not need a ground to operate. Uh, that seems to be a common misconception here when it comes to GFCI outlets. Uh, people think they need a ground to operate, and yes, they should have a ground, but they do not need a ground to operate. A uh, GFCI one operates on the fact that it measures the draw, essentially, uh, between your hot and your neutral, and it should be the same. If it's not one, it turns the outlet off. That's basically how it works. Uh, it has nothing to do with the ground. So uh, basically, it is checking everyone between your hot and your neutral and making sure no voltage is lost or amperage, essentially. Uh, I forget the exact amount. It lets so much through on before, and then it's like, oh, oh voltage is disappearing somewhere and it shuts it off. So then we're gonna quick uh, take the wires off this one, swap the wires to this one in the correct spots I might add, and we'll put this one back in. Okay, and one cover plate on it, and we got ourselves a nice brand new outlet in there. Now, there's one last very important thing we need to do on one. There is no ground on in this outlet, and when you buy a GFCI outlet on one, most of them will come with a set of stickers. You know, it's GFCI protected, but then also on this sticker seat, there should be a no equipment ground sticker. Notice there's a couple of them on here. We want to take this sticker, and we want to put this on here so that people will know in the future there's actually no ground on this outlet. It is, again, a GFCI outlet, but no equipment ground. Okay, breaker back on. Let's push the reset button. There we go. Green light's on. We're ready to go. 
Okay, well, I hope you folks enjoyed the video here. I thought this was going to be a video on maybe uh, doing some work on the vacuum here, but it uh, turned out we actually had a outlet with reversed polarity, which reminds me here. I should be able to take this now. Oh, if I don't drop it, plug this in. And, of course, I'm mean, not going to test out good because, again, there's no ground wire. And, again, by the way, good here is both these top lights lit up. So if we go check it, I'm just going to say open, open ground is what it's uh, currently reading. Uh, with that being said, I mean, it's not a reversed polarity issue. So, um, and again, I wasn't able to plug this into the old outlet. What, where did I put that? We're going to throw that. Okay, I don't know why I did with the old outlet. Maybe I threw it away right So anyway, again, everyone, thanks for watching. You folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them down below. And until uh, next time.